Buckle up, buttercup. Hundred. Hundred with two ton behind us. No, didn't even bother it. There's one thing about the transmissions on these that I don't like, and it's so annoying. Number one. <laughs> yeah, let's see his reaction when he gets in the in the next gen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> got a bit more oomph than the, than the white one, Trev. That's pretty flash. You haven't got your missus here going, turn the other one on. <laughs> no, Jeff, you're wrong. Cheryl, get down lower and look at it. <laughs> Never compress these bad boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What was that? See, no. bro. He's having to worry because the wind's going to blow his boat back yeah. onto the trailer and he's on his own. Yep, he's like, nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. This S Mino is gone. <laughs> Right, righto, we're down here, beautiful location down here at Tea Gardens. Trev's back again. So we've got his Gen 1, we've got the Gen 2. Trev has a caravan that he tows, so today's going to be towing. We're going to tow with both vehicles, compare both of them. They both have the same tow rating, so two and a half tonne between both. Obviously, the uh, two litre bi-turbo, and we've got the new twin turbo V6. So this should be pretty interesting, I think, to see how this thing tows that how it puts the torque down and I'm pretty keen to, to see how this goes. What's your van weight, Trev? Oh, dry weight is around the 1400. Yep. So it's max GVM for the trailer is two and a half ton? Yeah. Okay, so it's maxed out at what the Raptor can tow? Yep. Right. Oh, cool. So yeah, today we're going to tow with both. We've got some pretty windy mountains up around the Bulladilla region that we're going to, um, up towards Seals Rocks, we're going to go out that sort of direction. And yeah, we'll hook up to, well, we're going to use the Gen 1 first. Yep. We'll get all your feedback on how you think this tows. Then we'll switch the trailers, put it on the Gen 2, and see how Gen 2 goes. Nice, no, probably stretch the van out another foot or two. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be a bit longer by the end of time, by the time we finish with this one. So we're going to take a look at Gen 1, Trev's Raptor, and we're going to look at the features that it has for towing and what it comes with. We'll jump over this side. So then, what's this? That's not standard, is it? No, that's with the van. Right. Yeah. So that's for the 360 view on the caravan. Yep. I've also got Anderson. Anderson. Piger, Anderson over yep. there. Okay. So this is standard, this, um, the obviously, all your, your 12 pin. Yep. This is added on. These are your airbags yep. that you have in the back of the Raptor yeah. for towing the van. Uh, obviously, the, the hitch and everything, this hitch and everything comes standard on Raptor. And then you've just added your uh, added your That's cameras. The, and Yeah, the camera. Let's jump in the cab and we'll look at what features, because I know the new one comes with a bunch of towing features now. So we'll jump in the cab of the first gen and we'll have a look at what it comes with for towing. So standard, what does it come with? 
to tow. Ford put the the tow pro system in for us. Okay, so, so you got so these are obviously they're red arc, but they're rebranded yeah. Ford. Yeah, rebranded. So it just takes. So did you ask for that, or did they? Yeah, when I when I put the order in for the car, that yep. was what I put in, and the Anderson plug. Okay. So right that's on. all done by Ford. Okay, so standard, it doesn't come with one unless you're going to ask for. Yeah. Ask yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. On. Yep. Is there a towing mode that it has, that Raptor has? Does this have a tow mode? I can't remember. No. Nah. Since I had the one that we had. No, nah. not that I'm aware of. Yep. All you're getting when you buy a first gen is a tow bar yep. and a 12 pin, standard. Yep. Then you've got to add the tow pro and you've got to add cameras and things like that. So, Okay, so me and Trev are in gen one right now. He's Raptor with the Jayco cross track on. Number one. <laughs> yeah, let's see his reaction when he gets in the in the next gen. <laughs> so we're just here at our Bulla Dealer. It's close to where I live, uh, region where I live. So some pretty good hills and stuff here. So we've just come down through tea gardens and a few hills and stuff there, and just just getting a feel for what this thing tows like. And then we're going to hook up the cross track to the next gen Ranger and see how it goes. So. It's first impressions of me being in it obviously i've towed with a raptor before so i already know what it tows like it'll tow that around that two two ton pretty pretty easy yeah. definitely would not really want to go much heavier than personally me i wouldn't go any heavier than two ton maybe 2.2 if i'm being generous but other than that yeah about that two ton mark is where i'd keep it so in the two liter we have 500 newton meters of torque yep in the next gen it's 583 out of the v6 petrol so again this is a very small displacement engine two turbos on it that's got two turbos but obviously bigger displacement being the v6 so but let's see i'm curious to see going up this mountain how it actually puts it to the ground and see how we go and it's windy boys and girls hang on anybody gets seasick this is a great piece of road i love driving on this this is a really good Really good tow test. It's really um, real windy, but it's kind of to the point where you kind of need to slow down for the corners and then you need to get back down. You need to let the gearbox do its job. You can hear that, the gearbox in the bi-turbo right now, changing gears, going down in gears. We're just following our Land Cruiser 200 at the moment. I won't have a go. It's, it's a bumpy <laughs> road, it's skinny, it's narrow. not even trying to keep up with him so now coming into this corner it's really a really good switch back just here come on granddad let's go <laughs> v8 cruiser always blocking the way aren't they actually this has got more newton meters in the cruiser does it really yeah <laughs> uh, okay so we've just reached the crest of the hill now we're coming back down the other side Electric brakes on the cross yep. track? Yeah. Yep. Stability control. Yeah, pretty much any trailer now over 750 kilos has got electric brakes, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I can definitely feel the shocks with yeah. that tow ball load, and they probably could increase the bag pressure by about 10 psi, I reckon. Yeah, but. Probably. It stif stiffens it up, but you still. You get a bit of a. Yeah, it's a bit of a whale going through the bumps now, yep. but it's still a lot um, smoother than the other Utes I've driven, or the Hiluxes and the Rodeos and stuff like that. This, you're not trying to avoid potholes either, we're trying to hit all of them. But it's it's doing it nicely. I'm so curious about the, the, the shock spot in the rear of the other one with the live valve, and if it changes how it, like that, doom, from oh, the, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that that back end compression you feel when you do tow something. Yeah. So I'm really keen to see how it how it handles that. This is a really good towing test hill, I believe. It's very windy. You're on the brakes, heavy off the brakes, then you're hard on the acceleration. You're back and back off again, and it's it's half the road is smooth, half the road is really rough, but it's up down chicanes. It's it's got a good variety of, of kind of everything. It's putting the transmission through its paces, making it shift. 
heavy on the brakes again coming down this hill it's doing it pretty good it's just the when you hit those big bumps yeah. you feel that tow ball yeah moving yeah. towing ability if you had to tow two and a half ton what sort of rating would you give this for towing yeah I, I'm comfortable with it I've drove a lot of different vehicles only thing I don't have a license for is a motorbike yeah. and pretty well anything else on the road B doubles road trains I've done it and yeah from my perspective yeah it's doable it's quite comfortable um, but road experience comes into it as well mm, yeah so with most of the hybrids caravans and the lengths how long is the Jayco is it 15 foot 13 foot 17 foot 17 foot yeah, okay 17. so that's that's probably where I'd be maxing out lengthwise 18 maybe this thing's super light eh yeah for what it for what it what is, it is yeah. yeah I could I'm doing 80ks coming up here now and most caravans I've come across coming up this way I'm a big, big fan of um, Smith's Lakes and yeah still rocks and yeah it, I know this road pretty intimately yep and um, yeah to be able to be towing a trailer up here and I'm into it a bit here again. I'm just going into this corner here, just under 80 k's. Car's handling it beautifully. And that's the thing about the Raptor is it's body handling. Yeah. And then you get in the next gen and it's tenfold. Like you just can't. You, I couldn't expect that when I had a Raptor on the channel that they could Im they could improve the suspension from what this was. I thought this was unbelievable when I drove it. And then getting in the next gen and just the body roll and the way that thing rides. We're gonna hook up to the other next gen Ranger now and Trev's gonna experience what it's like because he's, he's been in this one, his first gen, we'll put him in the second gen and get him to experience the same trailer on the same road and see how it goes. So I think it's gonna be quite interesting. Yeah. You might just smoke the wheels the whole way up the hill. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so what's the, after we just did that run, what's the transmission temp sitting at right now? Um, and it can go off to just a normal temperature, typically halfway mark all the time. It's just a, it's actually dropped a bit since coming back. Yeah. Um, okay. And he just went just a smidge on the above center, so to speak. So, okay. So there's no, there's no settings to go through and, and no. go to that in the computer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, in the next gen, we do have that option to see. I'm pretty sure to see what the you can see the engine temp, and we can see the transmission temp. Okay, so coming around to the back of next gen, pretty much got the same sort of setup. So just got the, the, the tow bar. As you can see, we don't have any of the camera stuff that Trev has, he's added that on. And then you've just got your basic, basic 12 pin clogged full of mud <laughs> from whoever drove it before me. So that's basically all you're getting at the back here. Just you, you basically this setup, this setup right here. I'm pretty sure it does come with a tow ball. So I was in the glove box. Yeah, in the glove up. box. Okay, yep. righto. That's the back of the next gen for, for towing, but there is way more features and stuff inside. I have not towed with second gen yet. Today will be the first day, so let's just start it. You can program up to 10 trailers with the next gen ranges, whether it's Raptor, Wild Track whatever so I do have a towing mode here and I can select which trailers in the system I want to tow whether it's car trailer a caravan camper trailer boat trailer whatever it is I can program all my trailers in here to do that I have a connection checklist so we're going to do that later once we hook up the next gen to the caravan and that'll do all my brake lights, blinkers, and all the rest of it. And I can walk around the back of the vehicle myself and, and check all that sort of stuff. So that's your, your trailer light check. And you can add, you add another trailer here if you want. So add trailer. Then you have different um, camera modes here as well. So like Trev's added onto his first gen, the second gen has a camera up the front. You have the full 360 camera as well. And then as well as a reverse camera just here you can see old mate walking behind the car i'm going back to park so it gets rid of the cameras so that's basically the towing features in the in the screen here 
and then over here you have a built-in brake controller so like what trev's added to his first gen with the what's oh, a red arc but a rebranded ford product this has it standard for your gain and all the rest of it here standard in the uh, next gen all right so we've got the jaco cross track hooked up to the next gen raptor the beast we're gonna go and <laughs> We're going to go and do the same run that we just did in Trev's Raptor. He's going to drive first because I want to get his straight up initial impressions between both because he's fresh out of that. He's going to get fresh into this. He's never driven this yet either. So we're all hooked up. So let's jump in the cab and we'll go through how we can program it to tow this trailer. I'm going to do the light check functions. So we'll go to the back of the van and we can check all that and we can do that all on our own. We don't need any help. Okay, so I haven't done this before in the next gen yet. I haven't towed with one. So we're going to go this through this together. So we're going to click the little Raptor up here in the corner. It's going to bring us to camera, uh, driver assistance, towing, zone lighting, and off-road. So we're going to click towing. And then we're going to do trailer light check. Let's see if it was... Okay, so let's press start. Now let's go to the back of the car and let's check that it's doing all this, that it says that it is. Okay, so our side indicator lights are on. That's a good, good sign. So we can come around here. So we have both tail lights on. That's just the park lights. Yep, they've gone out now. So they're park lights, blinker, yep. So that works yep that works remember no one's in the car right now brake lights work how good's that <laughs> that's pretty flash you haven't got your missus here going turn the other one on <laughs> no jeff you're wrong it doesn't work cheryl get down lower and look at it <laughs> so gary will be very happy that he can check his own his own light so this will just keep cycling through that series until you're done so we can go stop now we can exit that default trailer i guess uh we're just gonna not no we're not gonna program this into the car because it's not my car so we'll just leave that that out of it but we can add a trailer if we wanted to add a trailer and we'd put in trev's Monster jaco <laughs> Trev's caravan and then we can uh, save it and all the gain and stuff here will be saved to that trailer um, if you want to do that I don't know what settings does let's look at that so we've got trailer connection notification is on trailer sway lay, trailer sway control is on uh, default trailer and obviously add the trailer if we wanted to actually add the trailer in the system I'm not gonna worry about doing that so yeah i guess now it's a matter of playing with the gain and stuff now that we're hooked up and finding the sweet spot what do you normally run it at yeah, about two two and a half about two okay so if we press this over here we can increase our gain i'll grab the camera off trev and show you what i'm doing so so just here i'm just pressing the buttons down here we can increase the gain to, to two. So we'll put it on two at the moment. That's what Trev runs it in the other one. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll let Trev get in and hang see, on, boys and girls. Yeah, see what he thinks. We're all hooked up. Yeah, all hooked up. All hooked up. Yep. All checked. Got the uh, DO35, just swapped it out with Trev's hitch. So how's the Raptor sitting with that sort of weight on it? Here we go. Next gen Raptor, towing test.
Righto, so Trev's first drive in a next gen Raptor. With a big parachute. It is. <laughs> with a big parachute. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't really come up with a towing mode. Mm. Like. It's, it must probably just plug into the smarts on the. Yeah, trailer. like you go into Wild Track, and from memory, Wild Track has a tow mode, mm. but Raptor doesn't there have is a, tow. a towing. There is a towing. Oh, here, here we go. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so on the main menu, it's got uh, My View, Trip and Fuel, Off Road, Towing. So we're just going to go down to towing, go OK. Um, towing status. Righto. There is, a, there is a tow mode, but it's not through the drive modes down here from what we've just figured out. So it is actually over the other side. Okay, so we're just in the main menu. So going through the drive modes on the round dial doesn't work. So uh, we're just in the main menu now. So if you can see there, we'll just scroll down to towing. Then we'll press uh, select. So okay, uh, towing status. And so it's gonna bring us up there with our, I guess our information for towing. So what do you think that minus one the degrees there, do you think that's yeah. with the suspension? Yeah, I reckon if the trail is heavy and the arse end's going to sag down and the nose is going to point up, that's just letting you know that uh, you might be a bit fat on the back end. That's that's legit. <laughs> that's um, Yeah, let's watch that when we go up down through the mountain and see if it, it's working off the compression and rebound. Yeah. And telling you what degrees you're at, whether we're dead level or... That's, that's well, pretty Once cool. we start moving, or we'll go through the driveway and stuff like that, and it's yeah. going to tell us what's going on. Yeah, sick. Okay, so Trev's first drive. We've done all the towing functions. We've got the gain on two right now. We're towing around two ton worth oh, of yeah. shitois. Shitois? As John Cadogan would say. Aluminium shitois, the acoustically transparent porter slum you've been lusting after all the way to Dingo Piss Creek. So Bliss and cross traffic alert deactivated trailer attached. So we'll press OK on the steering wheel. Rightio. So we have zero degrees right now. One degree. Is that that must be giving us maybe our pitch side to side? Two? Two. Because we are uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll keep monitoring that anyway and see how we go but how, how's it feeling like just just like we've only just come out the driveway to, yeah so uh, very very responsive in the steering pa power wise oh it is and so you can, can you can change the steering so you have your steering button your suspension yeah. button your exhaust button so you can customize that to have you like so if you wanted a normal yeah. or if you want comfort or sport so just keep pressing the steering wheel button and it'll change it. Oh, okay. Yep, so comfort sport. Let's see what this comes in. Oh yeah, like that. That's nice. Huh? Bit, yeah. Responsive. Yeah, like yeah. you have a bit more feedback. Yeah. Like it's trying to, I well, like that go. slight fight feel that so it kind of gives you. So we're just bumping along here. We're up to three degrees. Yeah, so that's given, us, that's given us pitch. Yeah. Okay, so ex acceleration right now. We're doing 80. We're coming into a 100 zone on the highway. And we've got a like he's bigger than us, so he goes first. Clearly, yeah. got a truck driver <laughs> ethic there. I don't argue with the truck. Give him a flash, let him back in. Helps the big fellows out, makes their day a bit easier. It's this. not doing any porpoising at all in the no, rear, is it? No, no. Like I felt, I felt the whole like this, like with yours. Yeah. yeah. That live valve is like. No, yeah. bro, I got this. It's sweet. Yeah, it's got it all right. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is... Yep. Trev's buying one, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you've got to keep looking in the mirrors to make sure the trailer's still there at the moment. Yeah, because, it's... Yeah. It's definitely not as noticeable. Like, you can still... In a passenger seat, you can still feel what's going on. Hmm. Like, so I'm going to get in the driver's seat and I'm going to drive back up over the mountain when we get to the other side. I'm going to let Trev just get his first impressions because I think that's it's really good going straight from the Gen 1 into the Gen 2 and, and Trev's uh, feelings on that. that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Got a bit more oomph than the, than the white one, Trev. 
<laughs> yeah, somebody just let its ass. <laughs> This is what, oh, this is just so different. Yeah. They've knocked it up a fair few bars. How it's, controlled is the suspension? It is, no. It's, the suspension is just unbelievable. There's no bounce, no bo no, no bobbling in the back end. No. Yeah, there's no bounce in the back of this whatsoever. It's tidy. Feels amazing on the road. Okay, so we'll, we'll do a... When we get to the other side, I'll look at the transmission temps on this, on the next gen, and also look at the fuel consumption when we get back to Tea Gardens after about an hour of driving it, and and see what the fuel consumption has gone up to. Normally, what I was getting from Sydney back to to Newcastle yesterday, highway, a bit of around town stuff, it was about 11, yeah. 11 something, and that was me being a putting my foot into it every now and again because I can't help myself, so. The transmission is just responding, um, yeah, again, light years in front of uh, Gen 1. When it comes to this transmission, it's just another beast altogether. It's beautiful. I think there was some refinements between the first gen and this generation with this transmission. Yeah. Um, I don't know what exactly they did, but I, I'm pretty sure they were talking about that they did. They okay. did make a lot of improvements with it. Yeah. Uh, they've nailed it trailer seems to be sitting a lot tidier on the road yeah like i don't think you need airbags in this don't don't worry about that save no. your money yeah the airbag the airbag situation is gone no, you don't need that it feels so much more i feel like there's so much more control in this thing oh yeah like easy. this this part of the road here is pothole city and there is no porpoising like we felt in the first gen. It's completely composed. Um, yeah. How good you're editing and sort of put a split screen to the gen one so blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. Like this, you hit a you hit a G out or a bump towards like a, a a bridge or anything like that on the on these roads, and it's just just yep. just nothing. It's just. I could say two and a half ton with this. I've changed my opinion with this versus the first gen. First yeah. gen, stay around the two. Yeah. But this, this, and the suspension can handle the two and a half, I believe. Oh, easier. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised that it's not rated higher. I'm surprised it's not at three. That'd be bloody nice, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I think that they probably will on the next one get it to three if they've done what they've done with this with the suspension now and how well it's handling this yeah like you've got plenty of power oh tons. it's it's just like oh yeah what oh, the, oh it's caravan on there oh, okay sorry <laughs> <laughs> on the thing there it's not the suspension that's doing that it's gi giving us pitch and roll yeah. for the vehicle so right now yeah, the twos. Yeah. One. How do you feel with the brakes? Um, does it does it feel like it brakes better or very uh, similar? Similar. Yep. Yeah. Taking into account too that this has um, been driven pretty hard. Yeah. Well, this this thing has this is a media vehicle. At the end of the day, it's like if you look under it. Wow. It's messy. Yeah, if you look under it, there's half of the country under there. Yeah, well, there's 15 minutes digging mud out of the uh, trailer plug so I can actually plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> Going from a normal Ranger into the first gen, it was like, whoa, like, holy crap, how could they make a car do this? Yeah. And then when you get into this one... Oh, they've done it again. They're my Gen 1, um, 130 k's an hour across 100 mil plus corrugations. One more, yeah. yeah. In the Simpson Desert. And the car just hung on the track, no skating sideways, nothing. Punching it through bloody cattle grids, all the rest of it. And the car was like a, it just flew. It was, it was a magic carpet ride comparison. Yeah. I try to find bad things about vehicles I don't like. And there is, there is definitely a lot of things about this car I don't like. But do they outweigh how much I love it and, and how good I think it is? Yeah. Nah, not really, but it's... There is 
there's always going to be improvements. Otherwise, a car would never leave the factory if you let engineers keep going with it every single day. So there's things that I'm going to I'm going to make a video about it and things that I would like to see on the next one in the future. They've got a good thing, and they're just going to they keep they keep in making it better. Yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's really surprised me. And he hasn't even had it without a trailer on it yet. He's gone straight from the white one, never driven a next gen, straight into towing. Is yeah. your first experience with this yeah, car without yeah. even driving it, yeah. just on its own. Just the way the car handles, I like you're not going to get it, but I reckon that it tow three and a half ton nicely. The way it's well, the way how I'm feeling about the suspension right now, and how I feel that it's handling it. Yeah, yeah, I think. I think that I definitely think three ton would have been a, a nice place for the towing to be, and I think as they do more suspension developments on the next generation, which they they would already be working on the yeah. the one that's going to re be released after this one, and I think that they will hopefully get a get a um, an increase on the, on the towing. Right up here we go. My first time towing, so we've changed no settings, no nothing. Chuck you banger in. Zero to one hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> that was very unscientific. <laughs> <laughs> like you definitely know that there's a trailer. You definitely know that there's a trailer behind you. But I got power for days. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like I can't. I would roll over if I tried to go up this hill any faster. Like, you know, when you're just like really struggling to pull something up a hill. Don't have any of that issues here. And that sound just needs a blow off valve, <laughs> <laughs> which I'll be doing to mine. Uh, yeah, it just toes so well. Yeah, I definitely think that it could have been increased to three. Like, right, well, right now, you're at about two. Throw another 500 in it. Still don't think that's going to really affect it. No. At all. So, yeah, who, who knows? There could be... See, the trouble is that the live valve... The live valve is doing a lot of work, but it's the spring compression rate that's going to affect it. To, to get more towing so it's just yeah I just don't know I don't know how they're going to get around that again there's always a compromise between it's a hard one and I'm not an engineer so I just know what feels sketchy and what feels good and this with two ton behind it yeah dream yeah. like compared to the to the first gen with the cross track it sits in beyond the car nicely. Like, you know, when you tow something down a hill and you're just, like, a bit sketched out about a corner and yeah, you, you can, feel it pushing you and... Yeah, you get, you get, it's, you get a lot of confidence out of it. Yeah. yeah. This gives you confidence to tow two and a half times. Yeah. 100%. I think that was the only porpoise I felt. Yeah, that was pretty big. Yeah, that enough. was a pretty big jet. Yeah. But it was, like, corrected instantly. It doesn't keep There's doing no, this yeah. all the way, t all no. the way down the road. <laughs> yeah, no, no follow through. Yeah, it's like impact. It happens. The car corrects it, and you keep going. Okay, so we did about uh, what forty minutes up and down the mountains and stuff like that yeah. in the next gen. So that's where our temperature for our transmission's sitting right now. Our engine's at sixty degrees, and the transmission is just past half. So definitely not not hot at all for climbing up those those hills. I wouldn't I wouldn't think that that's very hot. No, didn't even bother it. There's one thing about the transmissions on these that I don't like, and that the pan's plastic. Yeah, that's that's a big question for me as to why would you put a plastic transmission pan on a car, especially on a car like this that does off road. Um, automatic. Uh, I forget what the, I forget their name, but. There's a company down in Melbourne that actually make um, transmission pans for the 10-speeds um, and they're full cast. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be getting one of them for, for my next gen when I, when I get it. Oh, 
100. 100 with two ton behind us. Yeah, so, Jen, I guess Jen, Jen Wynn's not going to do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know when you tow something on the highway and you can, you just get, you get this one happening? Yeah. Like, and it's so annoying. Like, you just, as soon as you get those humps in the highway and you get this forward and back rock and motion, yep. I reckon that, that is the most irritating thing to me. It stomps it out pretty quick with this. Yeah, like, it's just, just nothing. It's so smooth. This, there doesn't, like, you don't feel like there's anything behind you. And I know everyone's like, oh, you can't feel it behind you. Like, it's so good. No, honestly, like, mm. first gen, I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel it pulling and, and pushing on the car. Yep. This, I can't. It hits a big pile. It hits some corrugations. It hits a couple of, like, the edge of the road. Yeah. You, you, you get, you can feel that happening. Yep. You know what's kind of going on. Yeah. But I'm, I'm so impressed with this thing, Tolan. Mm. Like, it's... Out of a score out of 10, it's towing ability to tow two and a half tons. Score out of 10, I give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I agree with that. Yep. Yeah. 10 out of 10 for towing. Yeah, it was comfortable. It's maybe even an 11 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the verdict? What's the verdict? Gen 1 towing, Gen 2 towing. What do, what, what's your opinion on it? How do you, how do you feel about it? Uh, the Gen 1. It's still up there, but for it's it's really still pulls that fine. Like. Yeah, it, it pulls. Yeah, it's doing its job. Gen two, it's uh, it's control, made. I think it's the control. Control, yeah. The it, control that you can feel that like, like that does it. That still does it very well, and it pulls it. No worries. Mm. But this feels so much more. Oh, like, yeah, I feel just, like it feels sta real stable. It's stable. Like this, this doesn't keep keep porpoising, but. You just, you feel that, that yeah. ooh, like on a, on a back road, you'll feel that when yeah. you get that bit of a dip, yep. it's like a real fast, sharp dip. And then this, this will porpoise a little bit and then flatten back out where some like utes that don't have this sort of suspension will keep going down the road right. like that until they get to a, a level section of road again. But yep. I just feel like this, this will, this pulls it no worries, tows it no worries. Uh, it's just the control. I feel this just eats, yeah, leaves the, that for yeah, dead. Yeah. The, Pretty well blowing me out of the water. It's how how responsive it is, and how just the steering. You have to drive it. Yeah, you have to drive it. You have to. If you've got one of them now and you're yeah. still um and ahhing about this, go and try and get a demo to take it for a spin. There's a, I know there's issues with trying to get these at the moment, but if you can get your hands on one or if your mate's got one, take it for a drive to understand the difference. Yeah. Because most people wouldn't think there was such a difference between this and this they would think oh it's probably majority the same sort of stuff and same sort of equipment in it and all the rest of it but it is it is a whole new vehicle tenfold yeah. from what from this one i don't even have the word for it yeah like as to how good it feels to drive yeah it's chalk and cheese between well, I, said to, I said to trevor so it's like it's like if a, a lamborghini was a lifted four-wheel drive <laughs> Pretty with close. It, with its handling in the yeah. like in the mountains and the chicanes and stuff. But yeah. Trev Trev has not he hasn't driven it yet without the trailer behind it. No. So tomorrow's gonna be interesting. So anyway, that's our final thoughts, I guess, on, on towing. It tows unbelievable. We both agree that it could go two and a half ton all day long. But stay tuned to the channel because we've got off road tomorrow. We're gonna go for a beach run. And that's... we're gonna see how this versus that. And you might have to put the trailer on it just to slow me down. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that I'll be uh, probably having to wait about, I don't know, an hour for you to get up the other end of the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That's, that hurts. That's not that bad. Well, like, uh, Trev will be here. I'll probably about another 45 minutes till he'll be here. Nah, no jokes, but yeah. See you later. See you later.